Hey guys! Hi! Feliz Navidad! Hi! Hello! Happy holidays! Hi. Today is the event. We're recording this on the 23rd. Uh, yeah, that's close enough. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, oh, I wanted to go on a fucking rant to start this out because I am so... Oh, pe- no, because I'm so angry about this. I woke up angry about this, okay? <laughs> Is it about wow. Justin Bieber and the Wreck-It Ralph overall? No, it's not about Justin Bieber today. <laughs> Did you run out of cheese? Yeah, no, it's fine. Um, no cheese. <laughs> but um, I'm I'm really sick of people complaining about what to call fucking Christmas. Oh Christmas. yeah. What, yeah, what yeah, else do you that. call it? I don't know, cause people are like, well, you should say Happy Holidays, and I'm like, I don't give a shit. Like, if, yeah. if you're if you're one of those people that's worrying about what to call or what to say to people during Christmas, you need a fucking reality check and a slap in the face. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. And I think the thing is, is, like, conversely, I also hate people that are like, oh, if you say happy holidays, you're part of the war on Christmas. I hate that as well. What is a fucking war think... on Christmas? I you just know. said happy holidays. Maybe I should leave. No, <laughs> no, 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 my point is, <laughs> is Heather. I'm uh, not in the war, I swear. Well, it, just, it, just doesn't, it just doesn't matter. Like, I think as long as you're, like, in your attitude, open and accepting of everyone and charitable and loving, then... Whatever you call Christmas. It's fine yes. if you want to say it, but I hate people who are dicks about it. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I, know, I, I know. Okay, like, I'm, I'm an atheist, and I know, like, really asshole atheists who are like, I'm not going to put the Christ back in Christmas. And I'm like, who gives a <laughs> shit? Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I completely agree. I mean, the thing is, like, Christmas now, like, and I... <laughs> You know, genuinely don't want to sort of like, I mean, because obviously for religious people, it is about religion. But for me, it, it just, you know, has always just been about being nice to each other and having a good time. And like, you know, that that's not a kind of immoral concept. You know, I don't see why that is somehow anti-religion. I just you know. Oh, like, so we were gonna like, keep it light today, by the way. It's like people oh, get like like I've I, like I've heard stories of like people getting offended where it's like a Christian, someone who's like religious will say Merry <laughs> Christmas to a person, but then the person's like, I'm Jewish and it's like, Oh, well, Merry Christmas anyway, if you don't you know <laughs> or whatever, Hanukkah. And it's like, uh-huh. whatever, say Merry Christmas, say happy Hanukkah, say happy Kwanzaa, say happy yeah, fucking Yeah, don't make someone Kwanzaa. feel like a twat for saying like the quote unquote wrong thing. Uh, just say like fucking fuck fart kangaroo day. I don't give a <laughs> shit. <laughs> To me. Isn't that next week? Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, although, fun, funnily enough, Bro, I know you were joking, but that is, in fact, a real British celebration. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to know what that involves, Fran. <laughs> um, it involves, um, it's tantamount to everyone getting a day off um, to watch Red Dwarf and drink tea. That's, like, every day, though. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. It's, like, every day for you guys, though. <laughs> it's certainly every day for me. I know, I know for the apocalypse, my own sake. I posted on your wall uh, the day of the apocalypse on the 24th. Yeah, yeah. Apocalypse update, no tea. The, the, in, in the UK, the apocalypse update, the tea is just simply gone. <laughs> <laughs> that was the news flash well, in the UK. It was simply there, Gru. I thought that was very British. The tea is just simply gone. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, we were going to talk about this year, weren't we, guys? We were going to talk about significant even cool though, stuff. Even though I looked in the calendar and I'm like, oh, well, we're supposed to have a podcast on, on like, the day before New Year's. And I'm like, oops. But yeah. I guess we can go ahead and talk about oh. it, year and stuff anyway in case people can't make it. Because I know, like, people will be gone for New Year's and people will already yeah. be heading out to MAGFest and stuff like that. And it's a, it's a two-parter as well. I mean, you know... Like it's and it's nice. It's a nice like Christmassy subject. Like, you know, this is I. You know, I I got really excited when I found out we were talking about this today. Yeah, we won't be having a podcast the week of Magfest though, just to let you know. <laughs> not I've never for my own podcast. Yeah, if I, <laughs> yeah, I was about to say like, maybe I could teach Fran to edit, and I'm like, no, that would be a disaster. But <laughs> oh, <Yeah. laughs> I love the fact, Korea. I love the fact Me. that like. 
you've never met me in person, but like every single one of my friends would confirm that to be true. <laughs> <laughs> no, co- I don't. I don't pretend that that's not the case. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I, I even so, I'll record my own one about my various exploits in Tiverton. Yeah. <laughs> about Stephen Merchant. Stuff. Yeah, with me and Stephen Merchant. I posted a thing. I posted a thing with you tagged in it, which was Stephen Merchant making sexy sounds. Yeah, bloody hell, and that was from um, Causal, but it was so incredibly, um, like, I don't know, <laughs> taken out of context, it was just like a big, huge innuendo. Yeah, it was really <laughs> nice. Innuendo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so we were going to talk about favorite things of the year. What was everyone's favorite movie of the year? Avengers! Avengers. Um, <laughs> Avengers, Avengers and The Hobbit. I would say Avengers, because I, I did see it seven times. You know, but um, wow. I'm into bring. I saw it free, but damn. I'm into bring my movie tickets up here because I do save all the movie tickets that I get. I no, I save some of them too. I think I saved both my Avengers stubs. No, I save all my ticket stubs from any movie I went to. Um, I went to see the um uh cinema release of The Shining on Halloween. I saved that. I saved that ticket. Yeah. I would totally save that. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was sweet. I remember because I started saving them when I was like a kid, but then we moved and I like my parents threw a lot of them away because I thought it was just trash. So I'm like, I'm like, shit, well I gotta start over. So I saved them from like I saved them from good films. I don't um Yeah, I, I me don't, too. Not too many more, just because I've seen so many movies, but I saved theater tickets. I think I think the oldest ticket stub I have is like from when I started my collection again, I think it was like God, I can't remember. I'd have to go. I'd have to go get it, but I don't want to. I don't want to go get it because it's all the way in my room. But I'm exactly. looking at my stubs over here, and I'm not sure which is the oldest. Yeah, <laughs> they're mean, like they're I, like right next to my desk. I mean, so I didn't I, see. I didn't see. I a, guess Anchorman. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, you saw Anchorman at the cinema. I loved Anchorman. I saw it like a no, bunch no, of no. Times. I lo- I loved Anchorman as well. I'm fucking jealous that you saw it on the big screen. That's awesome. Yeah, I think I saw it like two or three times. It was. Oh, hysterical. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, it's like, I'm still looking at my stuff. I'm not sure which came first. I got, uh, um, I don't know. Cor- I saw Corpse Bride. That's, that's my record. I saw Corpse Bride six times in the wow. theaters. That is my record of seeing movies the most. And I'm not I, even sure why. <laughs> but yeah, I, I was going to say, Georgia, I, I, like, wasn't bowled over by Corpse Bride. Like, I, I, I really know. thought I would be, but I thought, I thought it had a lot of problems. Yeah. I don't know. It I, just, I was really liked it at the time. <laughs> I think. I mean, I think like it's very, very entertaining. But like, I guess, I guess I didn't love the opening song. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I thought there were a couple of moments in it that were so heavily lifted from Nightmare Before Christmas that like I couldn't I really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably being like douchey McNickpick here, but <laughs> oh, no, you're not. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> they love when I do that. I came <laughs> just in time just to hear that, and I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I do have my movie tickets. The oh, the oldest one I have is back from May 2011 when I saw Pirates 4. That's um, not old. Yeah, no, but that was when I, had, I just, uh, that was when I started my collection again. So let's see. I kind of I just gave up on Pirates of the Caribbean. I still Yay! I still love them. I don't even care okay the the first one from 2012 i saw when i saw beauty and the beast 3d which was oh yeah, yeah i wish i put my ticket for that it was that was really good that was good you know what i you know what i would have said yeah. one of my favorite movies of the year i would have said girl with the dragon tattoo but it came out december of 2011 so i'm like shit <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, actually, another one of my favorite movies of the year, probably would be, like, number three um, after The Hobbit and The Avengers, was Paranorman. I loved Paranorman. Really? Did uh, I ever see it? I, see it. I, I didn't see it. It was um, by the company Laker, um, who made Coraline. And, yeah, like, if you see it, like, if you get a chance to, you should see it, because it's really, it's it's just a really, like, beautifully made, uplifting, funny, spooky film. It's got a great message, like... Yeah, it's got it's got probably one of the first gay characters in a children's film that I've ever seen, which makes it, really? it kind of marks it out. Oh wow, cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who else? Who else saw? Um... Oh, sorry. Keep going. I oh, know. I was just gonna say it's quite incidental, but it's there. Who else uh, saw the Hunger Games this year? I, I saw some of it. I don't know. I just. <sighs> <It was> a... <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I really, I really enjoyed the Hunger Games only, like, because I love the books. Like, I think the books are like some of the greatest, like, the greatest one of the greater trilogies or rare book series that's been written in the past five years. Like, they're really I mean, good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, smart people that I really respect are a fan of them. Like, I know Nella and Lindsay are both really, really into them and really, really liked the film. And I don't, I don't really know why I haven't seen it yet, except that I think I was a bit like, it, it seemed a bit kind of like young adult for me if that makes any sense and I was worried it was just going to be another like uh, this is me knowing absolutely jack shit about it I worried it was going to be like another Twilight, Twilight. Yeah. yeah I yeah. had to say Whoa. that right at the same Whoa. time because I knew exactly what you were going to say <laughs> yeah yeah it's 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 not hard to decipher talking of which I got um I got my friend I'm just about to go to Christmas dinner at my friend Phoebe's and I got her the Twilight box set just to really like super piss her off that's an expensive <laughs> troll gift. <laughs> that is yeah, no, right? I know. I've got I've got like a shit ton of troll gifts this year. Pretty much all my presents. That's are troll the gifts. most expensive <laughs> troll gift I've ever heard of anyone getting anybody. Like, <laughs> I mean, it was it was like half price in HMV. But even oh, so, okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, even so, it, it's it's steep for a troll gift, but it'll be worth it. Yeah. <laughs> and also, I mean, like Twilight, I I find them incredibly like entertaining and fun to watch. Like, I, you know, I kind of in the vein of like a lot of bad films i really really enjoy watching them yeah mm. but uh the with, with the beauty and the beast 3 did anyone else see any disney re-releases in 3d this year i, I saw lion king and beauty and the beast i think lion king came out in 2011 though oh did it oh bugger, lion king sorry. came out like uh-huh. september august 2011 oh right oh fair enough but i still um, did watch it and I, I i went to go see that too and that was really great it was, it was awesome. I wish I had but, seen Finding Nemo in 3D this year, but I ha- never had the chance to. It, yeah, it I forgot to. I've, I've seen it advertised, um, but it hasn't come out. Actually, no, the one that's being advertised at the moment over here is Monsters, Inc. 3D. Yeah, I don't think Monsters, yeah. Inc. 3D is out here yet. It might be, but I'm not sure. I kept seeing a lot I, of trailers I really, for it. I really like Monsters, Inc. I really want to see it. Yeah, <laughs> um, but I really want to see Finding Nemo only because I remember when I saw it in the theater when it first came out when I was like a little kid. Um, yeah, I was like fourteen when it came out, and yeah, I, I was like, I was like, blown away. I must have been like eight or nine. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, probably. Um, but uh, I mean, it's, it's fucking breathtaking. That yeah, film, I and mean, I, yeah. I would have seen it in three D because even my mom was like, that would look really good in three D. Like, wow. Yeah, definitely. Like, <laughs> mm. you know, people are quite dubious about three D, but I mean, I just think that world would be it's so amazing. It's the fucking ocean in three D. I mean. Can you imagine it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. Uh, what's that? So hang on, what's another thing? There was one more thing that I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, actually this is a good segue. Disney Sember. Um, this year's Disney Sember, I think has been really good. I'm really enjoying. I, it. I, I haven't watched it. On it. I haven't watched it either. I just I really really enjoyed Doug taking down cars. Yeah. That Don't gave me. A- those. <laughs> Sorry, Georgia. Don't tell Rose. Don't tell yeah. Rose. <laughs> oh, is Rose, is Rose a Cars fan? I find that. Rose, re- remember Rose likes that one character in Cars too. I know. I remember the picture. She's like in love with one of them. Oh, is it, is that the one played by Michael Caine by any chance? I'm not sure. I think so. Right. Yeah. I just. I I don't know. For me, it's just it's. This is gonna sound really snobby, but for me, it's just like the worst kind of like kitty fair. Like it's just it's so dumb. Yeah, I haven't. Ever and I don't mind them. Dumb. I've never seen them, but I mean, they 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 do marketing right, man. I mean, every little boy that I know, from ages two to eight, loves cars. Like, absolutely loves cars. It's like up there with them. It's like up there with like Spider Man and like the Avengers and Iron Man and you know all the superheroes. Like, that's wow. their one obsession, and then the other obsession is Lightning McQueen and cars. Yeah, I mean, no, I've, I've, I have heard that. I have heard that. Like, J.K. Rowling actually said that her little boy was obsessed with um, was obsessed with cars. It's fucking, ca- like, when you're a little kid, <laughs> when you're yeah, a little boy. Yeah, especially a little boy. Yeah. I mean, even my little brother was like Hot Wheels all the time when he was, like, <laughs> six years old. Like, Hot Wheels all the time, you know? But, um... Like if cars had ca- if cars had came out when he was a little boy, like that would have been like his world. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I can understand that, and I suppose they're not. 
I suppose it's not really harmful in any way, but I yeah, I get I guess they just make me angry because I know that Pixar can do so much better. Yeah, I think it was just yeah. really like a marketing thing, like oh, well we we really need something to cater to that market, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess I guess so. I mean, I and I I've heard actually that John Lasseter is a big like gearhead and you know was genuinely it was a passion project for him. I mean, I find that quite hard to understand, but you know, <laughs> I just in terms of it doesn't feel like a passion project i can understand why it would be but when you watch the film it doesn't feel like something that passion was invested in okay and then we can touch your kiss hole (laughs) (laughs) i started the recording right when you said that you fuck (laughs) (laughs) great we do need to talk about um this kiss hole business um would you like to elaborate on that what kiss hole business I don't know what's on your status. Is that still my status? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's a Game Grumps thing. So. Why else would I say something that's stupid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that just would have come completely out of left field. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so are we... Are we really quick. <laughs> <laughs> are we recording um, yeah, yeah. again? Yeah, um, yeah. Cool. I, guess, I guess my favorite movie of the year would probably... I'd probably say Avengers if... Um, uh, tied with Brave. I really enjoyed Brave a lot. I I didn't see Brave. I for some reason Brave was I, wonderful. I absolutely loved I it. Like Brave. Yeah, no. So, I mean, so I heard. I was weirdly kind of put off by it, and I can't really explain why. But I mean, I've heard only good things. It's so amazing. She's my new favorite Disney princess, and that's my new favorite Pixar movie. And I don't care. I was put off by the trailer for Brave, I guess, because, like, the way that it was edited, I guess, for marketing purposes, they made it look like probably much more of an exclusively kid-friendly film than it was. I really enjoyed the trailer because, like, I, I don't know. Like, I just, I loved the way it looked, I guess. like Yeah, it was very yeah, sweeping. It was, it was beautiful, and it's a lovely idea. I guess it was more just, like... Some of the jokes seemed like a little bit. I love the design for Merida. I love the animation. That movie is so good. Just the little subtle things that you know you've looked at, like oh, her clothes rippled there so well. You know, it's like whoa. And uh, I actually, I actually didn't know. I actually didn't know a whole terrible amount about the plot before I went in so everything that happened in the plot I was like well the thing is they don't really reveal the plot that much yeah in the trailer and that's that's actually some, that's like rare these days because usually trailers yeah. they pretty much tell you the entire damn movie without you even seeing it but this one yeah, was just yeah absolutely it's like yeah. just an incredibly abridged version of the film with yeah, the best but this was just, in the yeah, trailer they tell you like the like not even half of the problem in the movie like <laughs> well they don't tell you any of the problems they just say it's about this girl and you know she's a tomboy, and it sucks for her. That's that's really all you know, yeah. and that it's yeah, it absolutely. And like that that kind of thing, I guess, because we've like seen quite a lot of in like recent Disney films. Like I I don't know how like overwhelmed I was by that idea, but it sounds like there is genuinely a lot more to it than that. I, I thought it would be more of like a a journey movie, like. It's like, yeah, oh, too. she's gonna go on a journey to change her fate, but she really doesn't go anywhere. Like, I mean, nope. I mean, there is kind of a journey once. Um, I don't know if we should talk about spoilers, but once the thing happens, oh no, that's all right. Once the thing happens with her mother, then it's kind of like, um, there's kind of a little bit of a journey, but then like it's it's kind of during like the latter half of the movie, but yeah. Okay. And either I way, like I really it. enjoyed it, and that's probably one of my favorite <laughs> movies of the whole year. Aww. Besides <laughs> Avengers, I think Avengers was everybody's favorite movie of the year. So just like, yeah. just like not <laughs> not counting Avengers, what was your favorite movie of the year? That I saw um, in theaters. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I fuck. Prob- I'd go with the, the Does a Rift Tracks count? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'd like probably, to use that as my vote. <laughs> probably apart from the Avengers, Paranorman. Uh huh. I'm good okay. with the Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> So you didn't you didn't mind then Heather like despite things having been cut you still really liked it. I I liked it but I wasn't like blown away by it like I was with Lord of the Rings cuz Lord of the Rings and those three are my favorite movies ever. Mm-hmm. But I it probably helps that Rings. I haven't really read the Lord of the Rings all the yeah. way. Yeah. I didn't read I, I've only read Fellowship. I, I read Fellowship and Two Towers but that was so long ago I don't really remember. I didn't read any of them. I'm not a huge Rings fan. Um, I know when someone makes a Rings joke, 
But <laughs> other than that, I tried watching the first movie a long time ago, and I'm like, wow, this is super boring. <laughs> like, what's what's everyone's what's everyone freaking out about? Like, I saw I was try, I tried to watch Fellowship, but then I stopped in the middle because I'm like, this is super boring. Like. Well, when I they like came fellowship. out, though, like nothing like that had ever been done before, like to the, to that scale. Whereas yeah. I think now the reason why the Hobbit is getting much more measured reviews is because, you know, we we have kind of seen these sort of sweeping epics like so many times since then. But I think if you take away from that, I still think it's a really like, you know, awesome, funny, moving film. Can I, I really like. Can it. I just ask? I don't know why they're splitting it into three different movies. Yeah, that's to ridiculous. Make money. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, that is like literally 400... the only reason. <laughs> it's like only a four hundred page book, right? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I love well... how people keep asking that question. It's like, why are they doing it? It's to make money. It's no. a very simple answer <laughs> because like, they want to make billions it's more right, it's dollars. Just a depressing notion. But it's like the Twilight <laughs> movie is they split the last one into two, and even the Harry Potter book, yeah, like they split the to last one money. into two. And, and, like, the Harry Potter book was, like, fucking thick as hell. Like, it was, like, 800 pages long. But, yeah, and they, yeah, spl- it's, it's they still like- only split it into two movies. Like, I don't understand why they're doing it in three. Like, I don't... Like, is there that much of the plot line that they're making up that requires yes, two more movies? There really is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there was, there was one major um, plot thread I that was... Feel like, I just feel like there would yeah. be a lot of padding. There is. But it, well, I, I, see, I didn't feel like it was padding. I felt well, like it was all padding, justified. Padding, 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 padding. I guess. I think right. they, they're actually trying to make it tied in a lot more with Lord of the Rings than the book actually uh, is. And more, and more adult than the book. Yeah. Huh. To be fair, yeah. to be fair, my friend told me there's a lot of padding in the book too. Like Tolkien, because uh, she, I think she read The Hobbit a long time ago. Because the here in the schools, um, in some lit classes, The Hobbit is required reading. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool awesome. That it's required reading. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I've, awesome. I've heard from a lot of people yeah. that like with the Hobbit, it's like, well, Tolkien spends like a p- whole page in the Hobbit describing a rock, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. I, mean, I, but, I would I, believe that. <laughs> I and the thing is, I usually quite like that in writing, but I think I I don't know, and maybe it's because I re- I read. Um, or I tried to read Fellowship of the Ring when I was younger, but I, f- I found that really, really made the book difficult to get through for me at that age, whereas I quite yeah. like detail now, so I would like to try it again. I'm going to reread them because I did that. I think I was in, like, junior high-ish age or early high school when I read them, and I was like, it took me forever. There is so much in The Lord of the Rings that it. I think it helps if you're older. Yeah, did, I think did it any, was. Did any books that came out this year, did, did anyone read any new books or anything? Um, no, it oh, came out this year. <laughs> I bought a book. Um, <clears throat> if anybody saw uh, Film Brain's review of Scissors, he mentions this one book, uh, Bad Movies We Love. And so one day I just decided to look it up on Amazon. I found that book for a penny. So and decided, weird. I decided to buy it on a whim. Penny. And I'm, I'm kind of enjoying it. It's it's pretty funny. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I didn't buy any books that came out this year. I really want to, though. Oh, wait. I don't know if... Uh... I don't know if Steven Tyler's biography came out this year, but I did buy that this year, but I haven't read it yet because I have a whole stack of books that I'm reading. Um, but Steven, uh, no, Steven Tyler's autobiography because he wrote it himself. So oh wow, that well, should be cool. that should be an adventure. Um, <coughs> I wanted I think to that read J.K. Rowling's year. new book, but I heard very mixed reviews. I want to read what J.K. Rowling's new book, The Casual Vacancy. Oh, I I heard about that. Yeah, I think um a friend. My friend Kat read it and she said it wasn't, it was like mediocre. So yeah, it's, it's yeah, not I don't that good. It's been, I don't think it's been panned, which is in itself I amazing. I haven't they heard were really like ready anything it. about it. it yeah, I, I think it's much bigger either. news over here. Yeah, I've heard that like, well, I don't know. I guess, I guess since she wrote Harry Potter, everyone has such higher standards for her. And now it, this book is like kind of meh. So people are just <laughs> like, would get you know, she should do more, better than that. I thought it would get a lot more pu- publicity. <laughs> I think well I think the thing is is like she she is a very very good writer but within I I probably quite like a I don't know probably within certain boundaries whereas I think this is venturing into quite controversial territory this book and I really like the subject matter from what I've heard but I gather she doesn't write well enough I think for you to be able to kind of get past it Mm-hmm. I have no That's idea what, what it's even about. So yeah, well, it's it's about it's about like sort of like p- 
people that like grow up in estates in the UK versus like the sort of upper middle class and like just mm. just kind of it's just sort of about the class war, which I I think is an interesting topic. But yeah, I, and and she probably in terms of her understanding of it probably deals with it quite well. But the actual the writing itself just I've heard isn't good enough. Mm. Mm. How about um how about music? What was everyone's favorite like music this year? Um, Tenacious I, D. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I know everyone said this, but I really, really liked um somebody that I used to know. I really fell in love with that song. Yeah. Oh my oh, yeah. god, that is so addictive. I <laughs> swear it's to god. Really, like, and it's just it's it's really like I find it quite powerful actually. Like, you know, it, it's it's done with a lot of kind of feeling and that's quite you know, rare. You know who's really good um is Kimbra who is in that song. Yes. Her her music is really good. I would recommend everybody check out her music cuz she is really really talented. She is. Um, I bought her album when I it came really out. I can't like her name. It seems like she would be like Simba's yeah. cousin. Kim- yeah. <laughs> Kimbra from the Pride Land. I love that actually quickly getting back to Lord of the Rings. I love the fucking stupid names in it like Dimly, oh, yeah. son of Gimli, son of Gloins, son of Loincloth. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> son of <Yeah>. Loincloth. <laughs> uh, and like, like the dwarves being introduced. This is like Borin, brother of Orin. This is Corin, Dorin, and Forin. Like, for fuck's sake, give it a rest. Yeah. And yeah. And one, one thing, one thing I know about Tolkien is that he he really did build that world around his own language. Like. Yeah, yeah, he did, and that's that's really cool. Like, he wanted to do a mythology for the UK, which I think is a really cool idea. Because um, we don't really have how, a how the, the how same way as other places do. How was the score um, in The Hobbit? But yeah, oh, like no. yeah, getting getting back to music. Um, how was the score in The Hobbit? You really good. I loved the music. Yeah, Probably really amazing. really liked it. Um, yeah, it was very sort of atmospheric and emotional, just like what you've come to expect. Um, <laughs> I want I wanted to say as well. Um, I really really liked. Um, what okay. what was that Pink song, Greer? Um, the one that you put on the wall. Try by Pink. Try. I love that song. Yeah, she's. Really- I love that song. It's it's really like, it's a beautiful concept and it's incredibly like, comforting to listen to when you're in the she's state really- of mind that the song is describing. Like yeah. I just yeah, I loved it. I really, I love Pink. Yeah, she's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I used to be a fan of her. She's really good. <laughs> she is. Yeah, I was I was a bigger fan when I was younger, but I'm Me getting too. back into it now. <laughs> um also because i've got to go in like five minutes guys can i can we talk about to boldly flee before i go is that all right yeah cool so guy, i mean i know it's been a while since it came out but yeah what were your what were your general thoughts on to boldly flee that's all right it's great yeah i liked it i only watched I liked- it i only watched it once, i liked but- it <laughs> <laughs> That's the general consensus yeah yeah i thought it had <laughs> I thought it had really, really great bits, but mm. I I don't know where, what I think about it in hindsight, having not watched it again, is that I don't think it it kind of knew what it was in quite the same way as Kick Arsier and um, Suburban Nights did. Like people talk about Suburban Nights as you are like so right. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. I like so I know I know Noah was talking about Suburban Nights and saying you know oh it, it was a bit of a mess, but I mean. I uh, to me it comes across as a really really like funny irreverent independent film with you know some sort of you know genuinely dramatic bits whereas yeah, that's how I kind of the- that's how I kind of always kind of looked at them as like well they're independent films you know I yeah, really but- see it as like part of a thing they're just like independent films or whatever but, but, but I enjoy I- any movie where I get to see Spoony partially nude so I'm all oh god. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I think like um, I don't know. But, but that part was so weird though. <laughs> I know, but I was gonna say he looked all like emaciated and like that's it was a weird. Really... Yeah, was that, I, me? Me and my friends were wondering like, is it real or was it like some kind of like weird, like, like bad he had CGI? Come out of, like a concentration camp or something. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, whoa. I'm not sure whether it was meant to be yeah, a let's, joke. Let's talk about concentration like... camps. <laughs> yeah, let's back off that a little. <laughs> Wait <from> that. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I kind of thought, like, it was a genuinely sort of disturbing bit in the film, and, like, definitely, like, <laughs> you know, I hope it was supposed to be an insight into the character's psyche. It was, that's it, what was, it, was a, it was a parody of, um, I think it, Dune. Dune, yeah. yeah. That's what oh, it was, it was just showing that he really likes yeah. Dune. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um, but, um, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I feel like it didn't know 
what it was. And I thought, yeah, bits of it worked really well, bits not. So I think the biggest problem for me was that it was too long. And I think the problem is, is because they were trying to go so big with the special effects. Like, it, I thought it, it was long because they were trying to include everybody. Oh, no, no, yeah. no, it was. Yeah. Everybody got a part, so I think that's yeah. why it was like, it's like <laughs> over two hours. <laughs> yeah. I don't, even, I don't even look at it as a movie. I kind of look at it as a miniseries, almost. Just, yeah, I, a I good sort way of, of looking it at that it. way. That's a good point. But I, I didn't love the effects. I kind of don't think they should have gone so big with the effects, I guess, just, just because, really? like, I mean, it's just, it might just be me, but I just thought they, it made it look more unreal, if that makes any sense. But they're in space. How real is it supposed because, to look? Because everything, <laughs> everything that happened in that movie is just so real to begin. Based with. on a true story. Based on yeah, actual I'm accounts. Right. Fair enough. They didn't you shoot know, on location. You know, you know what I mean. Though, like, because because Tinkara, because Louis Lovog actually has a robot evil twin. You know. Yeah. And a right, spaceship. Right. No, I just, I just mean, I just mean, I guess, like, you know. I, I suppose we're so kind of desensitized now with like these huge big budget blockbusters that it is just the kind of I guess like slight clunkiness of it took me out of it a little bit but I, I mean that's a that's a real like nitpicky complaint. I mean I, I, I mean I you thought could what it was they were good effects. You, you, you know, could for say what, yeah. that like the effects almost are almost a parody because it's like well you have all of these like you know big budget movies with all the special effects that are popular yeah, in these days. And that's almost but it's like I thought it was great for like the budget they had. Like I mean I you know, I'm not I'm not for a moment like dissing anyone that did it. I thought they did an incredible job, but like am I just digging myself into a huge hole here, guys? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Be honest, you liked it when Brad Jones and Luke almost made out. I did. Oh, I did what? It <laughs> I liked any time Matthew had like a dramatic bit. Yeah. As well, well we, that's another story, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Film Brain. <laughs> oh, oh now, come, come now, friends. <laughs> uh, I, I won't. Um. Uh. Uh. Yes. <laughs> now the hole is fully dug. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I really can we cut all that shit about the special effects? I feel really bad now. I feel like I've. Huh? worrying about it you should never <laughs> i do i i, I, I apologize hate, for your opinion i hate being one of those fans though that's You're like not yeah one that, of those like, fans one of those fans or one of those fans would be work. like no, yeah. it's terrible. <laughs> way worse like you even yeah it's true can... true there are people actively on doug walker's facebook page to this day that like blatantly to his face call him a sellout and i'm like yeah, what the fuck is like, wrong with you like go away yeah, he's not, he's not sellout. is he a sellout like i don't even think he'd be a sellout if he like abandoned channel awesome and went on tv he's just doing what he as an artist wants to do I'm just like, yeah. go away please <laughs> yeah. shoot, walking up my shoot. speed with your fucking bullshit get out of my face <laughs> Guys, I've got a shoot. Okay. I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> shoot. I've got go as in, as in, shoot off. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Not like. Okay, maybe, maybe in the. Oh my God, friend! You had to. Oh. I had to she brought that up, friend. Oh my God. God damn it. <laughs> oh God, Bree. Sorry. Can you cut that? You're gonna have to. <laughs> well, oh, worst person ever. In hell. Um, See, anyway, guys. Different way. Friend, worst that. person ever. <laughs> friend, worst person ever. <laughs> um, Hasbro's worst person ever. Um, God. all right, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna head off now, guys. But it was lovely talking to you, and uh, have a hey. happy rest of your podcast, and a happy Christmas. And yeah, yeah. thanks to everyone that have that <laughs> listened over the past few weeks, few months, and uh, yeah, see you in the new year. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye guys. Bye. bye. So now it's just us. <laughs> Let's talk about her behind her back. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, so um I mean I had favorite music this year, but I, like if you if you go on my Facebook and you subscribe to my Spotify, like you can see like all the music I listen to. It's just like a clusterfuck of <laughs> all this crap. I don't know much about like current stuff, so I I don't really know 
like what was what was popular and what I don't know what came out. I've I've been I don't know when people go forward with shit, I go backwards. Like I yeah. I just I bought like three Black Sabbath CDs, so that's what I've been doing. Yeah. <laughs> Adam Lambert had a great album this year. Just saying. Well, of course, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> yeah. Um. How about uh trailers? Like just trailers of upcoming movies that haven't come out yet. What's the best one you've seen so far? I actually, um, I didn't see it in theaters. I actually watched it last night because I had found out about this movie in a magazine and forgot. It's coming out actually in March, and I'm not even sure what to think about it. It's called, what is it, uh, Burt Wonderstone or something? It's like Steve Carell and uh, Steve Buscemi are like uh, Vegas magicians, and then they get like a... I don't know. They get their competition comes from like in the form of Jim Carrey being like a Chris Angel ripoff. It's, <laughs> it's like bizarre. I'm not even sure what to think it of it. It almost reminds me of like, like the concept almost reminds me of like Zoolander or Blades of Glory. It's sort of. Like I, I, I can send you the trailer. Like, hold on, let me find it. But it's yeah. like the costumes look really good. Like they all have like, yeah. you know, the spangly outfits and he, and he really does look like Chris Angel. He has like the hair and everything <laughs> and the tattoos. <laughs> But I'm not sure what to think. Like, it looks really funny, but they look like they're playing it serious, too. So I'm just like, yeah. Uh, uh. So um, I'll send the trailer. There you go. There's, but, this, um, there's, this movie, um, there's this movie that's coming out that everyone had to freak out about because the trailer looks fucking awesome. What? Pacific Rim. That sounds dirty. Really? Yeah, yeah it does. <laughs> I saw the trailer when I went to see The Hobbit the other day, and I thought it looked kind of. I, what's that? Dumb. I haven't heard. Well, I haven't heard of it. What is it? It's um, I guess the movie with some kind of other dimensional being comes and we build a robot to fight it. Cool. Basically, but it just looked really stupid to me. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really badass to me. Like, oh god. It looks, it looks like fucking <laughs> real steel mixed with Cloverfield, mixed with Transformers. And... So mixed with every like movie that came out. And, in the, and last the woman who <laughs> plays Glados from Portal is in it. Emma Claims is in it, and it's just like wow. <laughs> I saw it was a Gil, uh, Guillermo uh, Guillermo del Toro. Del Toro. Yeah, I love him. He's is he I doing? Do too. Yeah, he's, he's doing, doing it. it. Oh and wow! Like, it's, it's, hell? It's, it's, it should look awesome. Yeah, it does yeah. look awesome. Um, yeah, even if the movie looks- sucks, the effects are probably going to look great. The effects do yeah. look great. They look freaking amazing. Uh, I heard he's making, Um, I don't know if it's coming out next year or in the year after that, but it's supposed to be. Like, he's make, uh, making his own, like, Pinocchio. Oh, and cool. it. Yeah, I saw, oh, yeah. Like a, an, I saw, like, a, I don't know, like, an etching for it. It looks really weird and creepy. I think he was so. working with Chris Grimley on that. If I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it because it looks like yeah. really dark and really. I think um I think Oz Great and Powerful comes out next year if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah I think so. That looks really good. We were actually watching um <laughs> we were actually watching me and my mom were watching The Wizard of Oz last night because it was on uh, uh-huh. TNT because it usually comes on around Christmas. Um, and we always like to watch it and kind of riff on it and share. <laughs> and she knows a lot about movies, so she'll tell me all this shit that they, like, because Judy Garland was, like, 16 at the time, and they were trying to make her play a 13-year-old, so they would put yeah. her, they would put her on all these, like, That's why diet, she was so whiny. They would put her on all these yeah. diet pills and bind her boobs Ew. down and shit, and, yeah. like, they were, oh like, God. she was on, like, all these pills to help her keep her skinny and fit and energetic. So, like, and she was, like, 16 years old. And it Ew. was, like, because it was like the 1930s or 40s, they didn't give a fuck. So nope. they didn't have any. They didn't have any like um, guidelines or anything. They didn't have any organization uh, monitoring that shit. So it was just like <coughs> movies were still a new thing. So it was like they didn't give a shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, it looks really good because I know I know since I read The Wizard of Oz this year actually, um, they they talk a little bit about how Oz the guy came to Oz. Yeah, isn't that what this one's about? It's like his yeah. version his of the story. story. Yeah, yeah, um, how he got which there. Which I, I, I really want to know about because they kind of skimmed over it in the book, and I, I don't know if they explain it in like because there are more Wizard of Oz books. I don't know if they ever go back to that guy in the other books. Someone can tell me, but, um, mm. I yeah, it just looks really cool. Um, it almost seems like, I, I think people were a little disappointed because people really want a Wicked movie, but yeah. 
but then they're like, oh, well, we get this other thing instead. We keep getting, <laughs> we're going to get everything about the Wizard of Oz, and then, like, at the last thing, we'll finally get Wicked, you know. <laughs> um, I think, when is, does Man of Steel come out next year? I think so. I think yeah. so. I miss the Superman thing, right? Mm-hmm. The yeah. Superman. A lot of people, I actually know people who are, like, kind of pissed off because they're like, they don't want Superman to be, like, a gritty thing like they're that doing with, me. like they're doing with Batman but I mean I don't know it looks, <laughs> reboot. It looks fun you know I don't know I wasn't impressed with the trailer really I didn't see it <laughs> no actually um I think on tv the other day my mom had fallen asleep watching Superman 4 and it was the one when just the one with a uh, nuclear man and I'm like oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> those movies are fun uh, Man of Steel might be fun I'm not I'm not really sure I'm not really into it right now but I mean, maybe I will when it gets close to coming out. I just know Michael Shannon's in it, and I love him, so maybe I'd see it. He's, like, one of my favorite actors. He's so good. Uh, Iron Man 3 trailer. Um, that was really good. I haven't yeah. seen a lot of trailers. All these trailers you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I don't know. Iron Man 3. I mean, Iron Man 3. My, all my friend, my my best friend, she's in the drag movie, see Iron Man 3, because she loves Robert Downey Jr., so... <laughs> and she loves she loves Iron Man. Holy crap, she loves Iron Man. <laughs> I think I went with a group of my my girlfriends to see the Avengers for the first time, and it's like because I was the one who was into Thor, and then my best friend was the one who's in Iron Man, and then our other friend that was with us was really into Captain America. So it was just like all so of you guys us. formed your own Avengers. Yeah, <laughs> we did form our own Avengers. Basically, we we formed our own Justice League. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, a lot of people are saying, like, the rumor, since they're rebooting Superman, like, it might lead to a Justice League thing. But I they had actually they've been trying to make a Justice League movie, movie for years. Yeah, but. I mean, I don't know if it would ever work out, because all of the licenses to all these different DC heroes belong to so many different people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, That's the, why it's the, not working. the Avengers, all of Marvel belong to Marvel, but now it all belongs to Disney. And, um... They can't put Spider-Man in because the Spider-Man rights for movies are at Paramount. Yeah, which sucks. Really? I, so he's not yeah. gonna be in. He's not gonna be in Avengers too. Probably not. No, unless they work something out. Sony. Wow. Which is unlikely. <laughs> unless Sony and Paramount work something out with Disney. Um, blah, blah, blah. Which probably isn't going to happen unless lightning strikes twice on a unicorn's horn. <laughs> but, um, Ouch! <laughs> in, a, in a blue moon, while an eclipse is happening, and while right. pigs are flying in the sky, pigs are flying in the sky <laughs> and we get a double rainbow, you know, <laughs> then only under those conditions will they put Spider-Man in. The <laughs> but um, wow! I, 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 wow! I have a funny story when I went to see the Amazing Spider-Man. Um, I went to see the Amazing Spider-Man. Um, uh, in 2D on the midnight showing with my best friend. And, um, and, and in the middle of the movie, I really wish I had gone to see it in 3D, by the way. Like, I really wish I had seen it in 3D. Um, but anyway, but um, about three-fourths of the people in the theater um, stayed after the credits because they wanted something. Like, they wanted something to do with the Avengers <laughs> really bad. Um, and they did, they did have kind of a pre-credits scene. They had a scene after the after the cast credits and stuff, and it was, like, a lead-in to a sequel. But then, like, everybody stayed till the very, very end of the credits to wait for something. They wanted Nick Fury to show up or some shit, uh-huh. or Maria Hill or Coulson. They wanted something. So we stayed and waited, and it was, like, it was like a four, a, about a quarter of the people had already left, and we're just yelling at them, like, you fools! And, and it's, like, <laughs> never... I learned my lesson. I... Always stay till the end of the credits in a Marvel movie. No matter like if it's Steve Avengers or if it's Spider Man, you always stay till the end of the credits in a Marvel movie. Um, but you know, we waited. We wanted the Stinger. We waited and we waited and we waited. And the, end of the credits happened, and then the movie cut off, and everyone was like, "Oh!" Like a big collective <laughs> "Oh!" And then some big black guy in the back was like, "Fuck, man! I want my money back." <laughs> <laughs> And it was the funniest thing. Everybody burst out laughing at this one guy. And it was... Wow. And it was basically, like, what we were all thinking. Like, <laughs> we're like, shit, man. And then he was just like, oh, man, I want my fucking money back. And <laughs> and I'm like, that's that was the consensus of the end of The Amazing Spider-Man. But other than that, uh, Amazing Spider-Man was probably a, one of the better movies I saw this year. I really liked I it. I thought it was kind of boring. I really liked it. It's really it underwhelmed. Hmm. I, I don't know why so many people didn't like it. 
I, I don't know. I know a lot of people didn't like it. I liked Emma Stone way better than... um. I did like Emma Stone. She's one of the only things that I really liked. Yeah, about I liked that relationship between her and uh, Andrew Garfield's character. Um, I really I really liked that relationship more than I liked um, Peter and Mary Jane in the same yeah. movies. I love, I love the, the Emma Stone... Andrew Garfield relationship a lot better. Um, oh. uh, let's see. What else What else should we talk about? Um, We're still talking about trailers because I forgot to mention Star Trek, which looks Star really Trek. cool. Oh, the new Star Trek. Yeah, I haven't seen another it. one? Yeah, they're making a sequel. Yeah. Oh, cool. Looks pretty I can't good. wait. Um, I've only oh, seen- yeah, they're remaking Con- Wrath of Khan, right? It and- would appear that way. It still says on IMDb that it uh, Benedict Cumberbatch is rumored to be con, but based on the I love that trailer. name. It's so funny. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Benedict Cumberbatch is supposed to be in a few new movies um, coming out next year. Um, I think he's in a, He's going to be in... Um, shit, what's... He's supposed to be in a couple movies coming out next year, like big blockbusters. He's going to be, I think, in the, either the next Hobbit or the one after that. Yeah, I gotta look it up on his IMDb or some shit, but... Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, Benedict Cumberbatch is supposed to... I'm glad he's getting more attention, because he is an actor. Yeah. And he is pretty handsome, so... Yeah. And his name is funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch Esquire. Yeah, it is a free <laughs> English name. I know. I love it. <laughs> yeah, he is going to be in um the the next two Hobbit movies. Um, and he's going to be in uh, Star Trek Into Darkness. And he was, he was in the Hobbit movie already. He was in the Hobbit movie already. Um, oh, I'm also looking at it. He's supposed to play... Julian Assange in the in some movie about WikiLeaks or something, some unnamed project about WikiLeaks. Hmm. And then he's, they're making he's, a movie about it. Yeah, that? which that would actually be pretty cool. I'd like to see that. And um, okay. he's supposed to play Julian Assange, which I hope I hope that's I hope that's something that's true and not something that somebody made up because that would actually be pretty fucking cool. <laughs> I would totally see that. Um, uh, so what else happened this year? A lot of things happened. The Olympics happened this year. I didn't care Yay. about those at all. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't either, Which, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think we were talking about the Olympics a bunch. So. <laughs> I, I watched so much of the Olympics. Like, I didn't even, like, it was really cool. And I don't know. I just really enjoyed the Olympics. Um. Mm-hmm. Lots of cool things happened this year, but uh, I think we should go ahead and wrap it up. You think? Mm, sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I guess you you can check out George's show. Uh, yeah. Your new episode was really funny, by the way. Uh, Thank you. Um, I don't know when third episode will happen. Definitely not before Magfest. I've got a lot of shit going on, so I don't know. I'm trying to work on it. It'll <laughs> be at Magfest. Um, it's a definite that I'm being at Magfest, by the way. So. Woo! Uh, Mag Fest would be awesome. Yeah, uh, we'll be having fun and stuff. So if you want to come find us, whatever you know. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be I'll, I'll be the I'll be the crazy chick cosplaying as Salad Fingers. <laughs> oh, that's funny as hell! Holy shit! Thank you, <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 I love creeping people out. <laughs> like that actually, that will be funny as hell. I'm working on it. I gotta find my bald cap, but yeah, it's coming together. <laughs> um, so I guess we'll wish everybody a happy Christmas. Uh, yes, happy holidays, everybody. So who's listening? Happy Christmas. Holidays. Uh, war is over if you want it. <laughs> what war? War is over. La da da da. Oh, speaking of Christmas, has anyone seen Les Mis yet? I mean, it My doesn't come out until Christmas, but I know week. a lot of people have already seen it for some reason. I haven't, but I want to see it at some yeah. point. A couple of my friends are planning to go, like, uh, I think the day after Christmas. I've never seen a movie that hasn't even come out yet get so many Golden Globe nominations. Wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> because wow. Because it's already, it's been open to the press and people who do movie reviews, like, like, Roger, yeah, like Roger Ebert. <laughs> and then, like, so many people have already seen it because of the press and then it's like wow this is one of the best movies of the year and it's already gotten nominated for best picture and halfway has gotten nominated for best actress hugh jackman's gotten nominated for best actor and it hasn't even come out yet to the public but 
It'd be nice. funny if like it gets all this press and then it comes out to the public and it sucks. <laughs> I think it'll be good. I think they've already released some of the studio um, recordings of some of the songs, which I'm not going to listen to yet. I don't want to <laughs> wait till I see the movie. But um, everyone yeah. should go see Les Mis. Do that for Christmas. Treat yourself. Treat yourself before you wreck yourself. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> for you wreck it or you wreck it Ralph yourself. you wreck it Ralph yourself <laughs> whatever that means <laughs> wreck it Ralph was good too I saw that this year that was pretty good Rose I wish Rose was here because that was her favorite movie of the year uh wreck it Ralph she told me that that was her favorite movie so um anything else that happened this year that you want to talk about really quick I graduated yeah. college yay Ooh. congratulations <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Life is boring on the outside. <laughs> Not that exciting. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to wait and wrap up here. Um, we have the Tumblr and we have... Um, actually, this will probably be actually a Christmas present because at the time that we're recording this, I haven't even finished recording or editing the last podcast. Because <laughs> yeah, I was wondering about that. I didn't been, see it on the page. I've been so busy with work and I've just been so tired that I haven't had any time. The audio is all done, but I still have to put it in a video file and edit that. And so as a Christmas gift to the world, you get to do <laughs> podcasts of us talking about nothing. So thank God Yay. for that. So um, <laughs> my parents want me to go to Burger King, so I really have to go. Um, <laughs> I wish my parents would force me to go to Burger King. <laughs> like, be awesome. <laughs> go get us a burger, and I'm like, oh, God, okay. Get me one too. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we'll see you guys in the new year. There won't be a podcast probably for the next two weeks, because um, one of them, I think the next Sunday is when everyone's gonna be like starting to go out to DC whoever's going to MAGFest, and then, like, I know some other people are going away for New Year's, or will still be on Christmas vacation, and then the next week is MAGFest, and then after MAGFest, we're actually going to go back to our regularly scheduled programs, (laughs) so everything will be back to normal after MAGFest, and I can't wait for everything to go back to normality. (laughs) You realize, like, most, if not all, of that podcast will be just us babbling about MAGFest. (laughs) Oh, but, eh... I get and I can talk about what I saw in DC because I'm gonna be doing other things besides Magfest, so that should be. Yeah, that's true. Um, I plan I fully plan on going to Smithsonian. I fully plan on going to just everywhere in DC. I'm gonna I'm gonna master the public transportation metro. I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to master it all. Greer, y- Greer Young, ultimate tourist. Ultimate. I will be the greatest tourist. I will be asking <laughs> directions because I probably won't know how to read the map. Um, it will be it will be really great. So um, hopefully I'll get to talk about me seeing all the pandas and the elephants and stuff. Aww. Georgia, if you really do want to go to the zoo, you have to go on the site and look at all the animals they have. And then it's like, wow, I really have to go to the zoo. Oh wow! They have okay, elephants, I'll check it out. They have pandas. They have sea creatures. Well, we're gonna see our. I think. I think he'll be there. We're gonna see our own panda. Oh yeah, <laughs> our, yeah, fuck. our sad panda. So, I think he'll be there. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Um, but uh, this is the third time I've said this. Let's wrap this up. So, uh, <laughs> happy New Year, I guess. Uh, we. Yes, happy New Year, everybody. Survive the apocalypse, and I think that I'm glad I got to see you guys because I was so afraid that I wouldn't get to see you guys anymore because of the apocalypse. So, Aww. <laughs> I'm so glad we can continue this adventure. Yes, <laughs> we need to do this for the world. <laughs> okay, so all right, bye bye, everybody. Have a bye. Bye. I am being on vacation. Bye bye.